Magandang gabi po. Good evening po sa lahat, sabi ni Sister Anilu. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Listening po. Sila Rachel. Good evening daw. So, let's start with our uh, praise report and prayer request. Why don't we start with Justin? Good evening, Justin. Ano ba ang uh, praise report mo and prayer request? My praise report is um, I'm starting school soon and uh, I'm getting the hang of driving to school. Mm -hmm. uh, and the key request is um, that I would, I would be safe while driving. Oh, yeah. Ingat, ingat ka. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, Justin, sabi dito. Uh, praise report. Wala naman po pinsala sa hurricane. Prayer request. Uh, Pag-iingat po sa ating lahat at maiwas po tayo sa sakit. Coming from Rangel and Jai. Alright. So, next. Uh, let's hear it from uh, Tita Josie. Alright. Good evening at mga dangawens. Tita Fed Dumuk. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Let's hear it from Tita Josie. There you go. Hi, good evening po. Good evening po sa lahat. Good evening, good evening. Ah, uh, Yung praise report po namin, yung uh, birthday ni nanay kahapon. Mm -hmm. Thank you. At uh, uh, another year na dinagdag sa kanya ng Panginoon. Need more years At, uh, Okay naman po. <laughs> 86 na po siya. At uh, yun po, yun po ang paming praise report. At uh, ang prayer request naman po namin ay eh... Ano ba prayer request natin? <laughs> uh, yung pangunguna sa bawat isa sa atin, ang ating Panginoon sa araw-araw, pag-iingat sa bawat isa sa atin. Uh -huh. Ganon din po sa mga apo namin na pumapasok na po. Yun po ang aking prayer request. Amen. Thank you, Sister Josie. Uh, let's hear it from uh, Giselle. Giselle, good evening sa'yo. Praise support good evening, and prayer po request. Po. Good evening, good evening. Um, praise report po, same din po ng kay Mama. Nag-celebrate po kami ng birthday ni Lola kahapon. So, I praise the Lord po for giving her another year and na malakas pa po siya. Mm -hmm. And prayer request po, malapit na rin po yung pasokan ko sa 29th na po. So, praying po for kind professors and wearable classes and safety na rin po sa pagdadrive ko po sa school. Mm -hmm. so, Thank you, Giselle. Uh, let's see it from uh, Tita Fe. Good evening, Tita Fe. Good evening, Pastor. Good, Good evening, evening everybody. Praise report and prayer request. I praise the Lord because He does not um, forget that His children. He is faithful. He protects us, you know, from sickness, from accidents. The storm have passed, has passed, but uh, He has given us peace and He did not let us suffer from anything uh, like a result from the storm from any storm God is good to us and my request is that uh, God will protect us all uh, yesterday I heard from several people that mm -hmm. it is now in Congress by the month of November Thou this year Sabi I um, 55 I know $55 yata 
will um, will be worth only one dollar though i don't know how true that is but uh i request that we continue to pray for all of us that god will take care of us cover us with his blood mm -hmm. and that nothing serious will happen to any one of us especially because in some places now in the world they have the uh, yung uh anong tawag ba doon yung kung magbayad they don't accept cash anymore mm -hmm. yung yung chips yung ganoon mm -hmm. uh, inflation oo parang parang ganyan pastor yata oo so i request that god will give us peace and he will he will take care of us you know and be able to overcome what needs to be overcome God gives us peace and he does uh, good things for us. He saves us from anything like that. Yun po ang aking anong request. Amen. Thank you, Tita Fe. Uh, okay, let's hear it from uh, Sister Anna Lou. Sister Anna Lou, pray support, pray a request. Hi, good evening to everyone. Good evening. Uh, Praise report po is um, uh, all of my, ano ba, um, doctor's appointments po, tapos na, mm -hmm. and results are good po. Mm -hmm. uh, and prayer request po, sana po talaga yung mga kids natin stay safe while they're out at school or their errands, and that they all arrive home safe. Yeah, nalo yan. Mm -hmm. Every day. Yun po. Amen. Thank you, Sister Anilu. Okay, uh, let's hear it from... Ayan, teka, basahin muna natin to. So, from Benson Family, good evening po. Listening lang po kami ni Derek tonight. Thank you po. Alright. Okay yan. Kahit listening eh importante na eh, umatin, di ba? At uh, we appreciate, eh, we appreciate yung kahit na nag-work pero they're listening. So, welcome, welcome kayong lahat. Okay, let's hear it from Tita Janet and Tito Manny. Good evening po. Hello, napakagandang araw po sa inyo lahat. Good evening. Ah, na. Oh. Uh, praise report. Uh, Ah, uh, ano ba <laughs> I'm very we are very very happy today. Masaya kami ngayong araw. Kahit pagod sa trabaho, masaya masaya. Eh, <laughs> mag birthday to si Mrs. Na, eh, may birthday gift siya. <laughs> oh. Happy birthday po. <laughs> Happy birthday ka no. Thank you po. <laughs> ano ba ang regalo mo kuya Mani? Eh, tsaka na lang. Oh, surprise! <laughs> surprise. Ano ba yan? Pinupuntahan ba yung regalo na yan? <laughs> trip to ang ano ba yan? Trip to Europe, mga ganun. <laughs> Praise God talaga. Praise God. Amen. Thank you. Si Sister Janet, meron bang prayer support, prayer request? Prayer request? Ay, ano po, Pastor? Healing lang Kasi yung aking lalamunan, para ako may konting sore throat at medyo may konting runny nose. Okay. Yan po, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> uh, okay. Our next would be Tita Rose. Ready ka ba, Tita Rose? Magandang gabi po. Good evening po. lahat. Okay, um, ang praise report ko po, uh, back to back po ang trabaho, maraming blessings. Mm -hmm. Kaya lang po sa sobrang pagka back to back, kadugtong po yun ang aking prayer request. May mga umatras pong nurses for tonight kasi mm -hmm. medyo uh, delikado na po yung may pasyente. Mm -hmm. Hindi na po ng mga morphine at saka ativan, so nagatrasan po sila. Mm -hmm. So kailangan ko po mag-cover ng 30... 34 hours sa kabila, tapos 12 hours dito, sana po ma-survive ko. Wow. Um, wala pong ibang papasok. 
at last minute po silang umatras yung for tonight na nurse at for tomorrow. So, but it's a blessing po yung mga tumarating kong trabaho. Mm. At kung pinakailangan naman pong gawin, y- y- kailangan po talaga na you know, hindi naman po natin pwedeng pabayaan ng pasyente. Iwanan nang walang mag-aalaga. So, yun lang po. Uh, sana po masurvive ko po energy po ng mm. katawan, kalakasan ng katawan at uh, matapos na po ito. Nang ma-, ma- Maayos po. Magawa ko po ang trabaho kahit mahaba po ang oras. Salamat po. Thank you, Sister Rose. Uh, good evening, uh, Pepotsky. Listening. Si Tita Pepot. Uh, listening daw siya. All right, uh, Tita Bing, ikaw naman. Good evening sa'yo. Uh, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Uh, praise report po. Uh, pasasalamat po sa araw-araw na gabay po ni Lord, tsaka yung nakaraang pong Sunday na inulan po tayo at okay naman po kami dito sa bahay. Uh, ang prayer request naman po, uh, sa family pa rin po pag-iingat, tsaka sa lahat na rin po. Ganon din po sa mother ko na nag-iisa na po siya ngayon dun sa bahay. Uh, sana po gabayan po siya ni Lord at ingatan. Laman po. Amen. Uh, good evening sa iyo, uh, Diana and uh, Jorel. Gandang gabi sa inyong dalawa dyan mula sa Indiana. So, good evening, good evening. Uh, meron ka bang praise report and uh, prayer request, Jorel? Okay, so baka listening lang din sila. So, good evening sa iyo, Joshua. Praise report, prayer request. Nakita ko kanina, nagsimula ka na sa iyong school. Ha. Ang magandang praise report yan. Ito po. Simula na. Exhausted. Mm-hmm. Ayos yan. <laughs> ano po? Yung praise report na nagsimula na nga po kanina yung school. Uh, uh, ano ba? <laughs> Sana yung trabaho din. So, Mm-hmm. Eh, Nag-i-busy pa yung pinuntaan ko. Tapos po, uh, uh, siguro ano po, ang tawag dito, yung prayer, ano ba, prayer request ko naman ngayon, eh, ano, makapag para mabiling bike, uh, kapag ko bumiyaki. Oh, okay. Eh, para sa high school. Okay. Eh, lakad lang ako since yesterday. Oh. So, ano, ayun po. Eh, malay mo eh, sagutin ni Lord agad yan. Okay. Lagay natin dito. Uh, bike. Alright. So, good evening sa inyong lahat. And, uh, nandali lang po. Ayusin ko lang to. Sensya na, may ang kalaban. At uh, lahat tayo ay na-survive natin ang storm. Praise the Lord. Wala namang problema. So, good evening po sa inyong lahat ulit. And uh, welcome to the Upper Zoom Prayer Gathering every Wednesday, 8pm. And uh, we will now proceed with our... Uh, tapos sa praise support and prayer request. So, tonight, ang ating devotional leader ay si Jazelle. And uh, next week would be Jasmine. So, so uh, sa ating pagbubulay-bulay sa salita ng Diyos, uh, let's uh, turn it over to Giselle. Giselle? Hello po. Okay po ba yung volume? Uh, loud and clear. Okay po. Um, good evening po everyone. Before we start, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for tonight, for this opportunity, Lord, to pray for one another and to just immense ourselves in your word, Lord. Use me to share your word and your truth, Lord, and may apply it in our lives and just honor you, Lord. We know that in all situations you are good and that you are always with us, Lord. Jesus, let me pray. Amen. Amen. Yan po. Um, the verse that I chose po is Psalm 1914 and it says, 
May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Ayun nga po, no? I chose this verse po because I think it is such a great reminder of how we should act and what should be inside our hearts and minds as a follower of Christ. So for the first half of this verse, po, um, it says, May these words of my mouth be pleasing in your sight. Um, we tend to just very carefully watch our words when we are at church. Pag nasa ibang lugar na or iba na kasama natin na hindi natin church brothers and sisters, nalilimutan na natin to watch our mouth. Pag nadadala tayo ng moment, nagagalit or naiinis, ganun, or we are on fire and very passionate about um what we are saying, we tend to say what we just logically know, lalo na on certain issues, katulad po ng mga politics, ganyan, na sobra na tayong nadadala minsan and kung ano-ano na lang po yung mga nasasabi natin. But our words that would come from our mouth should be filled with grace and honor to God. So before we say something po, we should ask ourselves if we are going to honor God once we open our mouth. In the second half naman po of this verse, it says, May this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight. So it's talking about our thoughts and kung ano nasa puso natin 24-7, every day, every hour, every minute, every second. Hindi lang dapat siya pleasing kapag ano lang when we are meditating on the words of the Bible or kapag, kunwari, Bible study lang or D-clusters, ganyan. So, dapat at all times talaga, even when we are stuck in traffic, when we are in trouble, when we are experiencing challenges, even when we are being tempted, our thoughts should always be um, God-honoring and pure. Kasi, for me, hindi mo siya matatago eh, kasi He knows what is truly in our hearts and minds. Pero yun po, it might be tough, especially when we are um, surrounded with people who doesn't really know God or how important God is to us. Or nasa situation tayo na very tempting, na sinusubukan talaga tayo ng kaaway. Na makakasabi or um, makakagawat talaga tayo ng bagay na hindi kalugod-lugod sa kanya. Pero um, for me po, it is not impossible to change how we speak and think. We can do this by immersing ourselves in God's word. You know, just allow the word to fill you and to just surround you. Yun nga po, God has given us his word and it reveals the goodness of his heart. So um, we should meditate on it and let it purify the words that we say. So we can also seek him through prayer kasi lumalalim yung relationship natin with God when we talk to Him, give thanks, ask for forgiveness of our sins, and many more. Then, realize na, ay, yung mga nas- sinasabi ko and naiisip ko, now it is more and more pleasing to the Lord. So, it just takes time for us to change. Pero dapat, gusto mong magbago kasi gusto mo na i-honor siya not because the church or someone wants you to be that way. Kasi yun ang purpose natin in life is to glorify His name and His only. And yun lang po. Amen. Thank you, Giselle. Ang ganda naman. Ang galing. Ang galing, Giselle. Very good. Mm. Thank you po. <laughs> Praise the Lord po. Yeah. <laughs> Meron ka bang question? Isulat mo sa... Ah, uh, yes um, po. Uh, pakisulat sa ating uh, chat uh, box para maitanong natin. So, ang unang sasagot ng katanungan, alam nyo, guilty ako dito. <laughs> uh, minsan, mabiro ako masyado. And uh, hindi na masamang magbiro, pero minsan, yung biro nakakasakit. So, medyo may na-offend akong, nag- nag-joke ako, may na-offend ako. <laughs> so, nag-sorry naman ako. So, anyway, uh, ingat-ingat tayo sa ating mga sinasabi. So, lahat tayo dito ay guilty. Okay? So, uh, what is your own way to correct yourself when you are having a hard time controlling what you say and what you think? Wow. 
So, let's start with um why don't we start with uh uh dangawens muna tayo. Ayan. So si Kuya Mani, si Ate Janet, oh, ano po masasabi niyo sa napakagandang uh, sinier ni Jazel at saka sa question niya. Uh, ano po yung tanong, Pastor? How do uh, you correct yourself? Paano po yun? Uh, what How is your you... own way to correct yourself when you are having a hard time controlling what you say and what you think? Controlling what you say or what you think. Parang mahirap. Mag, mag na lang pa ako ng scenario, Pastor. Sa bahay, mm -hmm. I really hate my kids to hear them murmuring. Mm -hmm. So, sabihin ko sa kanila na, you know what happened to Miriam when she murmured? She mm -hmm. did not bear any sound. And if there is, and if you don't have anything good to say, you better not, you better keep your mouth shut. Mm -hmm. So, yun po ang, yun ang sinasabi ko sa mga anak ko na kung medyo galit ka, you better keep your mouth shut o kaya huwag ka muna magsalita or better give a space. Mm -hmm. So, sa akin po, <coughs> sa dito sa bahay, kasi lagi po yan eh, laging may sablay dyan eh. Kaya, right there and there, pag ako naman po, lagi naman din sinasabi ng mga anak ko o oh, mami, you're being judgmental. So, tinatanong ko rin mga anak ko, how, how can I improve in this area? So, kasi kumisang po, blinded ako eh, may mga blind spot. So, tinatanong ko sila, how will I improve? Anong dapat kong gawin? So, sa akin po, ganun. Kasi kung minsan, sablay eh, maraming sablay. Pero yung, yung salamin, <laughs> nakikita ng ibang tao yun eh. Lalo na sa, sa loob ng family. So, sa amin pong family, sa amin dito sa loob ng bahay, yun po yung sinasabi ko sa mga anak ko. And it is my prayer then that the Lord will keep uh, over the door of my lips. Kasi may mga area din po talaga na dapat sa akin, correct yan. So I, I, I ask God to just guard my heart, guard, guard my thought, and uh, guard my inner being. So yun po, Pastor. Thank you po. Amen. Thank you, Sister Janet. Si Kuya Mani, mayroon bang gusto mm. itagdag? Um... Sa akin naman, Pastor, kasi alam ko yung role ko sa family na talagang da tinitingnan ako na siyempre tatay. Hmm. So, ang ginagawa ko kasi meron akong problema kasi noon talaga na pag ang temper ko noon, pag medyo na hindi siya nagalit ako, diretso yung pagsasalita ko, dire diretso. Now, I've learned, lalo na pagkaharap ko yung mga anak ko, I have to, to count muna 1 to 10 para medyo sa loob-loob ko para ma-con muna ako, mag-settle muna ako bago ako magsasalita. And hmm. mostly, mostly all the time, Ngayon, ngayon na ako'y tumanda at <laughs> ginagawa ko na ngayon. Pag bumibilang ko ng sampo, alam mo kung lumalabas na sa ako na hindi nagalit. Lalo sa mga anak ko, yun parang medyo malumanay na. <laughs> Kaya yun, parang ginigib, binibigyan ko pa rin ng time ko na sarili ko na bilang ko ng sampo ano, bago ako magsalita. Amen. Thank you, Kuya Manny. So basahin ko lang dito yung mga phone in ano natin, uh, comments natin mula sa... ano sa mga viewers natin on joke lang. <laughs> so sabi dito ni Rachel tsaka ni Jai, syempre po una sa lahat dapat mag-ask ng wisdom from the Lord. Next naman po ay uh, surround yourself with good company. Kasi pag nakapag nakap, nakapalibot ka sa mga ta, mga nega na tao or mahilig sa chismisan, magiging ganun din po tayo. Tapos isipin po ng 100 times bago magsalita. Yeah, tama. So sabi naman ng Benson family, ako po, aminado po ako na napaka-prank ako pong tao na to the point na alam ko pong minsan nakakasakit na, 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 na makakasakit ang nasasabi ko pa din po. Siguro po one way to correct it po is uh, ayun nga po gaya ng sinabi ni Tita Janet na each time na naiisip, naiinis po ako sa tao or judgmental ay umiiwas na lang po muna ako kaysa makasakit ng iba. Also, pinagdadasal ko din po ang naalisin ng Lord yung ganitong feeling na at hatred sa isip at puso ko po. Yan, sabi ng Benson's family. So, 
Uh, share ko lang ulit. Sabi dito, ang katanungan. Uh, share ko muna yung ano, yung uh, yung uh, text no. Sabi dito, may these words of my mouth uh, and this uh, meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight. Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Psalm 19:14. No, sabi sa Tagalog, maging kalugud-lugud nawa ang mga salita ng aking bibig at ang pagbubulay ng aking puso sa iyong paningin. O Panginoon na aking malaking bato at ang aking manunubos. So ang question, what is your own way to correct yourself when you are having a hard time controlling what you say and what you think so anong ginagawa mo para um, maayos no Ma- maitama mo yung sarili mo pag nahihirapan ka na pigilan ang sarili mo sa mga sinasabi mo at naiisip mo so yun yun na katanungan so ang susunod na sasagot ay si all right let's hear it from Justin Justin good evening Good evening. Good evening. Um, I think uh, for me, I well, first I I try to control my breathing if I'm angry, uh, so that I don't uh say anything that that I don't want to say, and then I of of course I pray, uh. Because I I can't do it without God's help. Uh, I try to think about uh, what would God want me to do? What would God want me to think? Instead of going off of uh, going off of uh, my emotions. And usually uh Uh, I I try to uh I try to remember God's attributes like uh the fact that God is holy uh God is kind God is long suffering so I try to remember uh since I'm trying to live in likeness of Christ I try to uh stick to those attributes as as best i can thank you justin no so dagdag ko lang din ano uh, having a hard time controlling what you say and think uh this also includes yung uh, ating uh, syempre yung sabi nga ni justin when it uh, in, uh, when it comes to anger di ba we should control what we say what we think no ganun din sa chismes no dapat uh, ganoon din sa biro, di ba? Ganoon din sa mga kwentuhan, no? So ganoon din sa baga uh, bago natin sabihin or kung ano may naisip natin, no? kung baga it must be something na kalugod-lugod sa Panginoon. All right, thank you Justin. Ah, uh, let's have uh Let's hear it from Tita Josie. Tita Josie, good evening. Good evening po, Pastor. Good evening. Sabi dito eh, paano mo ikokorek ang sarili mo kapag nahihirapan kang kontrolin ang mga sinasabi mo at iniisip? Mm-hmm. Ayun. Sa, as, sa akin po eh, una sa lahat humingi tayo ng gabay at pangunguna sa ating Panginoon. Mm-hmm. Pero mahirap din po yung pag nandun ka na sa actual na ano eh, hindi mo naman makokontrol agad eh. Mm-hmm. Kaya nga, sabi doon sa ano, lagi tayong lumapit sa ating Panginoon. Sabi sa awit 141.3, Panginoon, tulungan mo po akong huwag makapagsalita ng masama. Mm-hmm. Lagi tayong pagising pa lang natin sa umaga. Uh, mag-pray na tayo na pangunahan tayo, iisip, salita at sa gawa ng ating Panginoon. Di po ba? Mm-hmm. Lahat tayo, sabi nga po sa James 3, 2 din po eh, lahat tayo ay eh, madalas magkamali. 
Mm-hmm. Kung mayroon mang hindi nagkakamali sa panalita niya, isa siyang taong ganap at may kakayahang pigilin ang kanyang sarili. Mm-hmm. Kaya lang kung minsan po mahirap din po. <laughs> Lalo na po kung nandun nga sa pagbibiruan, sa pagkukwentuhan, ganun po. Kaya dapat po uh, 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 ang pangunguna talaga ng Panginoon. Lumapit tayo palagi sa ating Panginoon at sabi nga, isipin po natin ng makailang beses kung tayo makakasakit ng ating kapwa at ng daming mga tao. Mga nakapaligid yeah. sa atin. Kaya maganda po yung paalala ng salmista, no? Meditation. Opo. Opo. Sabi, pagbubulay-bulay ng aking puso, di ba? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, pinapaalalahan na niya tayo na mag-meditate tayo. Uh, mm-hmm. these words of my mouth you know, and this meditation of my heart so ibig sabihin proactive kumbaga ginagawa natin before mangyari yung uh, kumbaga uh, minsan hindi nga kasi minsan kaya hindi na siya maiwasan dahil hindi tayo nakapag-meditate parang ganun so, napakaganda ng paalala na itong uh, salmista na to tsaka maganda yung, yung sinare niyong prayers ng, ng salmista tita na sabi eh Mm. Tulungan niyo po ako, no, na no, wag po makapagsalita. <laughs> Dahil sa totoo lang eh Opo. minsan eh pag nasa nasa moment na tayo, napasarap na tayo ng kwento, joke-joke na rin tayo. O kaya napasarap na tayo ng chismis, napag-chismisan na natin yung nabuntis na artista, yung mga ganun. <laughs> o kaya napasarap na tayo dun sa ano ano na nasasabi na natin, nalimutan na natin na to live a holy life. <laughs> Uh, kaya wag tayong manonood kay uh, Christy Permi, kay uh, Lolit Solis, Maraming kay uh, OG Diaz. Naku po, yan yung tatlong pangunahin na chismoso chismosa sa Pilipinas. Kasi pag uh, pinanonood niyo po sila palagi, uh, kasi tinry ko yan eh, pinanood ko sila. Alam niyo, pagkatapos kong panoorin sila, Nang, nanggigigil ako. Hindi ko alam kung ba't ako naiinis, no? Kung baga magaling silang magsilab, mag-gaslight uh, ng ano, ng, ng puso na kung baga ma- mainis ka sa tao na to kasi may ginawang mali. Alam mo 'yon. At uh, ginagamit nila 'yon para kumita, 'di ba? Makapanira ng tao, 'di ba? Makapagsinungaling, kapa, alam mo 'yon, yung yung mga ano, yung mga yung mga ano yun, blind item, mga ganun. So, minsan ginagawa rin natin yun sa church, di ba? Or sa office. May bina-blind item dati. May bina-blind item tayo. Di ba? Minsan, in a form of prayer pa. Uy, pag-pray naman natin si ganito, balita ko eh. Nagiwalay na silang mag-asawa. Eh, sino ba yan? Di ba? Tatanungin, sino ba yan? Eh, blind item na lang natin muna. Huwag muna. Marami <laughs> talaga. <laughs> Ayan. Theory in practice. <laughs> Ay, naku. Uh, uh, chika mo na, dali. Sabi <laughs> Mas sir, parang nanonood kayo ah. Oo nga po eh. Na, 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 nakikita ko yan sa YouTube eh. At saka sabi ko nga, nung pinanood ko, parang nang, nanggigigil ako eh. Parang naiinis ako, hindi ko maintindihan. Na. Kung bagay yung, yung emosyon mo, kaya nilang laruin. Sa pamagitan lang ng binabalita nila. Hmm. Di ba? O, parang, uh, kung baga maapektuhan ka talaga eh. Di ba? Parang hmm. gano'n. Yeah. So, okay. Thank you, Tita Josie. Uh, let's see it from um, Sister Adel. Sorry. Ay. Sorry, may add lang ako. Sige pa, sige pa. Uh, very familiar po sa akin itong verse na ito. Eh. Uh, because uh, ito po yung prayer ng uh, pastor namin back in the Philippines. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable. In your side. So ito po yung palagi niyang uh, ina-utter na prayer every time mag start po siya sa, sa word niya, sa pag-preach niya. At, uh, at kasama ron yung itago niyo ko sa inyong likuran upang ang mga reveal lang sa akin eh, yung, yung salita at yung kalooban. Hmm. Napakagandang prayer po. Uh, ito po yung pastor na humingi ng guide. Eh, what more kung sa mga ordinary uh, members na Hmm. Uh, mas mas uh, malapit po tayo sa mga mga words na alanganin pa na, na masasabi natin. So hmm. kasi ang the problem with us 
mas padalas mas mabilis pong mag-react yung bibig natin mm-hmm. sa mind po natin at saka sa heart natin. So, yeah. dapat po siguro mag-post po tayo for a while then uh, maging uh, sensitive tayo dun sa mga sasabihin natin. Nang sa ganun, wala pong ma-offend at uh, wala pong uh, magkaroon ng sama ng loob. Yun lang po. Yeah, pati uh, ako nga, uh, naalala ko uh, madalas kong pinabanggit pag uh, bago mag-sermon pag mananalangin ako sinasabi ko rin isa sa panalangin ko teach me what to say and not to say alam mo kasi maganda yung mangibabaw yung holy spirit hindi yung opinion ko parang ganoon so ganoon din hindi lang din naman sa pagsasalita natin tandaan niyo digital world na uh, digital world na ngayon and uh, kumbaga ako kaya ako binura yung ano eh uh, Tinanggal ko yung ano ko eh, yung uh, Twitter account ko dati kasi tuwing mababasa ako ng Twitter uh, kung ano yung trending kumbaga sigurado mapanira ano so yeah, yeah kumbaga ganun din tayo sa pagpo-post natin uh, lately nga may pero na kung ano na offend so so, so kumbaga uh, it's a lesson for me kumbaga to be very 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 careful yeah. so thank you thank you for reminding us that yeah Okay, let's go now to Sister Analu. Good evening, Sister Analu. Hi, good evening. Uh, ulit. Uh, this, uh, I will um, use an example po sa how I aming mean, uh, kids, sa mga bata po. Uh, so, uh, kasi when I'm angry, when I'm angry, I say I you I I tend to say hurtful things. So now po I I'm very careful and uh, when I'm angry I stop pause and reflect first now before I react because I'm encouraging the kids uh to be more active to church sa uh, uh, prayer life nila so the example needs to come from me so i i have to really be careful and uh, and just just think first now they they'll, they they will see it from me first uh so yun lang po so talaga we have to watch what we say and do first in our homes yun lang po. Amen. Thank you, Sister Analo. Yun yung malaking challenge, no? Yung uh, maging role model tayo doon sa ating mga anak. Di ba? So, uh, lahat naman tayo ay guilty dyan. Kapag minsan nagagalit na tayo ay uh, kung ano yun na yung lumalabas sa ating bibig. No? Pero maganda kasi dito as we grow, no? Kasi uh, actually, uh, we're growing together. Alam mo yun, as a family. Hindi naman yung ano, kumbaga uh, meron siguro iba sa atin, medyo mas mas matured na sa sa spiritual life. Meron iba sa atin, medyo immature pa ng konti, pero as one church, as one family, sabay-sabay tayo niya, nag-grow together. We learn from our mistakes, no. Yun ang pinakaimportante kasi, yung magpapakumbaba tayo pag pag uh, in ano, pag uh, yung bang kinol out yung ating uh, pagkakamali, di ba? Ah, uh, ganoon din sa mga anak natin pag nakita pag nakita tayo na mali tayo, ah, nakita, napansin natin sarili natin ako mali ata yung sinabi ko whatever. Uh, maganda uh, makita nila example ng pagpapakumbaba natin, right? So, pastor listening lang muna po ako na nasa work po busy. Ayun, si Sister Rose busy sa ngayon. Sabi dito ni Sister Jaya, uh, ano to, uh, always think before we click. Oh nga naman. Yeah, tama yun. Alright, good evening Pastor Bert, Carl James, good evening sa iyo. Uh, Tita Pepot, makakapagsalita po ba kayo? Makapag-share kayo or listening din? Ayan yan. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, good evening sa Okay, good evening sa lahat. Good evening. Ako Pastor, uh, nung bata-bata ako, mahaba ang pasensya ko. Pero siguro ngayon nagkakaedad, siyempre umiiksi ang pasensya. Mm. Pag ako po uh, nagalit, talagang kailangan ilabas ko kasi kung hindi nang, nanginginig ako ganyan. Mm. Pero 
Kano, kailangan magsalita ako. Hindi naman ako nagmumura. Basta kailangan malaman nila kung ano yung naging cause. Bakit ako nagalit? Saan ako nagalit? Mm. Ganyan. Mm-hmm. Tapos, kakanta na lang ako yung Change My Heart of God. Yun, parati kong kinakanta yung pag nagkakamali. Okay, tapos, then. pagkatapos yun, pagka lumamig-lamig na ako, susulatan ko na yung taong nakagalitan ko. Yung mm. napag- napagalitan. Kasi pag bibig, mas marami kang masasabi eh. Yeah. Kaya may sulatan mo na lang. Yeah. Yun. Tapos na magkakaintindihan na kayo. Ganun po ang ginagawa ko. Mas maganda nga naman yun. Ano? I uh, agree with it, Apepot, kasi pag sinabi mo using your lips, minsan, tatatatatat, mm-hmm. ano, parang ano, walang, walang, ano, walang, ano, walang, walang uh, katapusan ng nasabihin yung siya magkakapagsalita. Parang kasakit ka. ka. Unlike Sakit. pag sinusulat mo, nafifilter mo eh. Yeah. Pag sinulat mo, tas huwag muna isend, tapos basahin mo ulit, edit mo, tas basahin mm. mo ulit, edit mo, hanggang sa maramdam mo na, ar- maramdaman mo na nawala yung galit. Yeah, totoo yun. Pastor. Objective ka na. At saka maganda yun na uh, thank you sa ano niyo po, sa tip niyo, no? yung uh, TIP, Theory in Practice, na umawit thank ng you. change my heart. Oh. My heart, oh God. No, make, make it, it ever, ever, ever true. true. Diba? Oh, maganda yun. My heart, oh God. Let, may it be like you. May it be yeah. like you. Yan. Maganda. You are the potter. I am the clay. <laughs> <laughs> Ano yan eh, yan eh, kumbaga pampa ano yan eh, pampal pampalambot ng puso. Pampakalma pastor. Pampakalma. Mawawala <laughs> yung galit mo unti-unti eh. Yes, exactly. Ako naman na uh, paggalit ako nakikinig ako kay Hana Abogado. Uh, for some reason her voice calms me. Ano yun? So hmm. yung bata na yun ay uh, natutuwa ako doon at uh, pag naririnig ko yung boses, nakakalma niya ako. So yeah. thank you Tita Peps. Thank you, thank you pastor. All right, let's go now to uh, Tita Bing. Good evening, Tita Bing. Hello po. Magandang Hello po. gabi ulit. Mm-hmm. Uh, sa akin naman po, uh, lahat, lahat nga po nasabi ng rin nila. Uh, ako po, uh, aminado naman po ako na nakakapagsalita rin po ako ng hindi maganda at hindi po ma anong pakinggan pakinggan sa tenga yung mga salitang nabibitawan ko so yung po kapag ka po ganun ah uh, hinihingi ko po ng tawad yon tsaka minsan din po nasasabi ko sa sarili ko na bakit ko nasasabi yon dahil kahit ako po na ipapayo ko po sa mga anak ko na yung ayaw yung gawin sa inyo wag yung gagawin sa kapwa niyo yung po na sasabi ko po yun pero dapat po ako po maiisip ko po na na bago ko po masabi yung mga salitang hindi dapat naririnig dapat maano ko rin po na dapat ako din maiisip ko rin yung ganun na sinasabi ko sa mga anak ko na yung ayaw gawin sa kanila kailangan wag din gagawin sa kapwa mo mm-hmm. yun lamang po thank you Tita Bing salamat po Opo. All right. Good evening. Uh, let's hear it from Tita Fe. Good evening, Tita Fe. Good evening po sa lahat. Mm-hmm. Um, regarding galit, temper, wala akong masyadong pro- problema niyan. Kaya lang, kung mayroong something important na makita ko, that is not right and probably i believe that there must be something said or done mm-hmm. first i ask the question before i say something is it necessary to say it mm-hmm. second question if i say it will it bring about something good in the hearer or in the person. And then I also pray to the Lord to give me wisdom. If necessary, I talk to the person. While, but I see to it that I'll never hurt the person and with God's wisdom. While I am talking, while I'm counseling, while I'm advising, you know, uh there are times when the holy spirit impresses in me not to say it 
masabi ko na masabi ko while I'm talking sa akin tama yon for me the na walang there's no nothing wrong if I say it I believe that it contributes to the changing of the thoughts the behavior of the person but what is good to us sometimes is not right with god so the holy spirit sometimes when i say something he stops me when when uh it's something that should not be said so in in every case i ask the lord to give me wisdom in dealing with anybody and before i say anything i pray to the lord that it is what i want to say is right and it will produce something good in the person yan lang po amen thank you tita fe so let's hear it from carl james good evening carl james good evening po pastor Good evening, good evening po sa inyo lang. Good evening. Um, para sa akin po, um, uh, dati po, pagka pinapagalitan po ako nung bata ako, tsaka ano, parang madali po ako mag-react, lalo na po sa mga bagay na parang hindi ko po kasalanan. Lalo na po, kunwari, nag-aaway po ako ng magkapatid or yung kunwari po ganun. Tapos, I mean, nadala ko po mga until ang college na parang basta may bagay lang na either pagsabihan lang ako magre-react agad or um, tipong pagkagalit na galit po may mapapasabi po kayo ng mga salitang hindi po kalugod-lugod or hindi po talaga tama ganun po and then um, na-realize ko po na parang mali po pala yung gawain po yun in a way na o nga po na-express na- yung nga kung gano'n po kayo galit sa isang bagay or sa isang problema pero hindi naman po um, talagang tama na bilang parang it's not the right thing the right thing to do it's not the right act to do and so um nung nabasa ko po tong verse to a long time before po na realize ko po na parang um uh, yung importance po nung pause Um, in a way na pag kunwari meron kong problema or meron mga bagay na masasama to sinasabi to ko sa akin lang, I just take time to pause and um, siguro reflect on it tapos, tapos po, hindi, hindi po basta-basta magre-react kagad kasi for example po uh, meron akong galit kunwari galit po kunwari isang tao sa akin tapos sisigawan ko po or magre-react po ako in a bad way hindi po matatapos yung problema and at the same time po hindi rin naman po mariresolve yung problema ngayon but rather, mas lalo pong lumalala. So, ang ginagawa ko po niyon is more of um, taking time, taking pause, and then pag-pray po kay Lord ko na masabi ko po yung mga, yung the right things to say, ganun po. Pero, um, ayun po, most of the time po, um, kahimik lang po ako, and at the same time po, ayun po, dasal lang po yung ginagawa ko po. So, yun lang po. Amen. Thank you, Carl James. All right, let's go now to Pastor Bert. Pastor Bert, good evening po. Pwede po ba kayo, Pastor Bert? Ay, magandang gabi po, Pastor. Magandang gabi po sa lahat. Good evening. Praise God. Ano po kasi yung tanong? Na, na, nahabol ko lang po yung uh-huh. um, 19 verse 14. Uh-huh. Oh, hey, what is your own way to correct yourself when you are having a hard time Controlling what you say and what you think. Sa Tagalog, paano mo raw, ano yan? Paano mo itatama ang iyong sarili kapag ikaw ay nahihirapang o nag, nahihirapang pigilan. Ano yung control sa Tagalog. Pigilan. Pigilan ang iyong, ang iyong dila at ang iyong utak Pag- <laughs> o isip. <laughs> Uh, na po siguro, yeah. Yung sabi nga dito sa binasa ni, sino bang basa nun? No? 14? Ah, si Jessel? Uh-huh. Actually, dapat sabi doon, no? yung pinaka-object niya, eh, dapat everything that you say must be pleasing to the Lord, no? Uh, sabi nga, pleasing in your sight. Uh, 
the word, every word that comes from your mouth and meron din siyang binanggit na meditation. Well, I believe siguro po na yung the word meditation, yung yun ang sikreto po siguro na even before you utter a word. No? Yung meditation, once you dwell yourself in the word of God, immerse yourself to the word of God, have a private no? or solitude once you dig down and meditate and really na yung salita ng Panginoon ay talagang magbabad ka. That is, I believe, one way na yung pasagot nandun out to uh, lessen that a hard, ha, being having a hard thing, ano yun, uh, mahirap na kontrolin ang uh, yung uh, pagsasalita na hindi maganda. Kasi kapag babad ka sa salita ng Panginoon, eh, you meditate, sabi nga, meditate the word of God. Day and night, sabi nga ni Joshua. And not departing from the word of God. And you will not only experience success in life, but as well in dealing, I believe dito, no? yung in dealing with other people, conversing with them. Yun nga, na even before you open your mouth, uh, you will think, no? I see everything that comes from our mouths having a from the onion from the abundance of the heart uh, heart the, the mouth, mouth speaks speak it. yeah ang gusto sabihin doon eh yung kung ano yung mga iniisip mo sa sa yung brain no yeah. everything that you say or plan or execute nag-uumpisa yan sa ating mga kaisipan uh it started in your mind and once your mind then you wanted to uh, let these things happen eh? then that's the time that you will uh, speak the word no doon na mangyayari yon kaya siguro tama yung nasabi ni tita uh, alam natin yung dila ay talagang even though how small it is sometimes it can create fire no uh, sunog so dapat siguro <clears throat> sa atin ano we must learn how to in order to control yourself sa mga bagay na ganun uh, dwell more on the word of god uh, i believe wala na siguro yun na siguro yung sikreto doon para mapigilan mo yung sarili mo na sa pagsasalita ng mga nakakasakit o hindi maganda Saka siguro yun na nabanggit din ni Tita Pe, na before you speak the word, you must think of it if it's really necessary. Kung kailangan ba, uh, does the word that I will speak, it will encourage or it will edify or strengthen someone. Pero kung talagang ano naman, uh, you're trying to correct somebody, uh, siguro you have the right also to speak. Kaya lang, yun nga, wag lang sa... Mainit ang ulo mo, kahit na tama ka, minsan, ako, ganun din eh, yung minsan ma-off guard ka, no? Mm. Uh, you are doing the right things and then suddenly there are people who are barging in. Then sometimes you cannot think right away, uh, nag nagre-react ka kagad. Mm. Siguro yung gawin natin na uh, before you speak, is it in love, kahit na magko-correct ka? Uh, and as well, no, na, yun nga, na ta- dapat isipan natin talaga, isipin natin na yung pinakabuod dito, yung sinasabi niya na, does every word that you utter be pleasing unto the Lord? Yun po siguro yan. Either you make correction or rebuke somebody or ano pa man sa yung pananalita. Dapat talaga ang end nito ay does it please the Lord our God? Uh, nagbibigay ba ng kalwalatian at nasisiyan ba ang Panginoon sa ating mga salitang binibitawan? Mm-hmm. Thank you po. Yun lang po siguro. Thank Mara, you, Pastor. Salamat. Thank you. All right, Dumako na tayo sa ating panalangin. Matapos ang ating pagbubulay-bulay sa salita ng Diyos. So, be reminded to always meditate. All right. So manalangin po tayong lahat. 
Uh, magandang gabi po sa inyo, Panginoon. Uh, Heavenly Father, dinadakila ng, namin po kayo sa gabi na ito. Tinataas namin ang pangalan niyo, Panginoon. Umingi kami ng kapatawaran sa mga nasabi, naisip at nagawa namin. Uh, salamat sa paalala niyo na we should uh, meditate using our hearts, Lord God. And uh, before we speak it, Lord God, may it reflect the true um, status of our heart. Uh, patawarin niyo nawa kami pagka dinisin niyo kami ng banal niyong dugo, Panginoon. Nagkapasalamat po kami sa lahat ng mga pagliligtas, sa mga pagpoprotekta, sa blessing, sa mga pagpoprovide, uh, at saka sa mga answered prayers namin, Panginoon. Dati prayer request lang, ngayon ay testimonies na. Salamat, Panginoon. Uh, patuloy niyo kami ginagabayan uh, sa araw-araw. Uh, mingi po kami, Panginoon, ng uh, Uh, hiling ng pabor sa inyo at uh, tinataas sa amin ng bawat isang sa aming panalangin na naway dinggin nyo, Panginoon. Uh, buksan nyo ang puso at uh, inyo pong mga palad upang kami pagpalain. Tinataas sa amin, Panginoon, ngayong gabi ang aming mga attendees sa aming simbahan. Uh, ang number 141 hanggang 151. Uh, we are praying for Aisha Tanega. For uh, kay Malu Perea, Panginoon, uh, ingatan niyo siya palagi. Uh, ganda si Aisha. Uh, si Malu, Panginoon, na uh, patuloy pong lumago sa simbahan na uh, lagi po siyang umaatin. Uh, patuloy niyo po siyang yakapin at kausapin, Panginoon, dahil sa kanyang paungulila, Panginoon. We are praying for Annalisa Amancio and uh, kay Chad, Panginoon. Salamat at uh, bago naming kapamilya, si Chad at uh, si Ana. Uh, we pray, Lord, na kayo po ang magpalago pa sa kanila. Uh, uh, dalangin namin na uh, lumagurin sila sa simbahan, Panginoon. Maging blessing sila sa maraming tao. We pray also for Christine and Noel de La Paz. Uh, nasaan man sila, Panginoon. Uh, dalangin ko na uh, ipuin niyo po mga puso nila. Paramdam niyo po yung pagmamahal niyo at uh, ingatan niyo po sila. Pagpala niyo nawa, Panginoon, ang pamilya Melencio, si John, si Carla, si Carl, si Ella, at si Kurt. Uh, ingatan niyo po sila, Panginoon. Ay balik niyo po sila sa simbahan namin at uh, palagi po sana namin sila makita. Dalangin namin, Panginoon, na, na palaguin niyo ang kanilang uh, buhay pamilya, uh, pakakilala silang lahat sa inyo at patuloy na lumago ang mga bata, Panginoon, sa inyo. Hinataas namin, Panginoon, ang LA Campus, uh, ang buong Church of the Nazarene. Justin, kayo ni lead us in prayer. Thank you. Lord, we we pray for the Church of the Nazarene. Uh, we pray for General Superintendents Music, Crocker, Chambo, Sunberg, Daniels, and Sarmiento. The District Superintendent Mark Lemon. Uh, the Board, Pastor Jeff, Pastor Bong, Tita Gurley. At Rachel and Tita LV. Uh, LA Filna's pastoral staff, Pastor Jeff, Pastor Bert, Pastor Bong, Pastor Rave, and Pastor Cled. We also pray for the English um, Josue Tegila, Michael Mata, Dan Bayer, Pedro Torres, and Angela Way. We pray for the Spanish. Juan Fajardo, Lina Fajardo, and Gladys Rosales. And the South Korean, Kai Sun Lee, and Moon Hyu Lee. And the North Korean, Jong Wan Lee, and Hae Suk Lee. We also pray for the MCB staff, Star Curtis and Nick. Lord, we, we thank you for these people on this list. We thank you for using them, Lord, uh, for your work and for your glory. Lord, we pray for um, their safety every day. We pray, Lord, that you would give them guidance and wisdom in their work so that they would, uh, they would please you, Lord, and give you all the glory. Uh, Lord, uh, please bless them in their in their ministries and may you continue to use them for your kingdom 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Justin, for complete healing, provisions, comfort, peace, and other concerns. Uh, for complete healing, uh, kindly lead us, Sister Josie. Thank you. Hallelujah. Patuloy po kami sa diwa ng panalangin. Uh, pinapanalangin po namin si Sister Janet, si Sir Trout niya. Lord, dalangin po po, Panginoon, na bigyan mo po siya ng kagalingan na nagmumula sa iyo, Panginoon. Alisin mo po yung pananakit ng kanyang uh, lalamunan, Lord. Dalangin po namin, Panginoon, na hindi po ito maging uh, sadlang para sa kanyang uh, pag-work, Lord. At ngayon pa lamang po, pinasasalamatan na po namin ang kagalingan na ipagkakalok mo sa kanya, Lord. Ganun din po kay Hector, uh, na-stroke po siya, Lord. Sino man po siya, uh, dalangin po namin, Panginoon, ang kagalingan din na uh, nagmumula sa iyo, Panginoon. At uh, bibigyan mo siya ng kagalingan, Panginoon, dahil alam po namin, Panginoon, na ikaw ay Diyos na uh, naghihimala, Lord. At dalangin din po namin, Panginoon, na hindi po naapektuhan yung kanyang uh, mga uh, katawan sa kanyang stroke na ito, Lord. At alam po namin na kagalingan na nagmumula sa iyo at pagkakaloob mo, Panginoon. Ganyan din po kay Claire Steinbar, heart problem. Lord, dalangin din po namin, Panginoon, na ibsan mo yung sakit na nararamdaman niya, Lord. Dalangin po namin ang kagalingan na nagmumula sa iyo, Panginoon. That's That's her body, Lord. Kailangan din po namin, Panginoon, na pagkakalooban mo po siya ng uh, pangangailangan niya, Lord. At uh, ikaw po, Panginoon, ang siyang mamunguna. Ganun din po kay Minor, depression, Lord. Kailangan din po namin, Panginoon, na kagaling na nagmumula sa iyo, Panginoon, Lord. Alam po namin, Panginoon, na hindi po ganun lang ito. Uh, uh, depression, Panginoon. Mahirap po ito, Panginoon. Dalangin din po namin, Panginoon, pangunahan po. Pangunahan po, Panginoon. Pangunahan po ang aming uh, kapatid na ito, Panginoon. Lord, ikaw din po, Panginoon, ang manguna kay Violi and family, hereditary, health, challenges, vertigo, etc. Lord, dalangin po namin, Panginoon, at hindi na po namin sinasangayunan itong mga hereditary na ito, Panginoon. Kung kami po'y nasa iyo, Panginoon, lahat po, Panginoon, ay pinutunan mo na ito, Panginoon. At naniniwala po kami doon, Panginoon, na uh, wala na po yun, Panginoon. Kaya dapat po, Panginoon, paniwalaan po namin ito, Panginoon. At alam po namin, Panginoon, na uh, wala na po ito, Lord. In Jesus' name. Ganun din po kay Bill Jarman, complete healing Lord. Uh, nadalangin po namin, Panginoon, ng kagalingan, complete healing kay aming, uh, uh, sa aming DS dati Lord, sa si Bill Jarman Lord. Patagpuin mo po ang kanyang pangangailangan, pangunahan mo po siya, Panginoon, kung saan man po siya ngayon, kung saan man po siya ginagamit, Lord. Ikaw po ang manguna sa kanya, Lord. Salamat po, Panginoon. Ayan din po kay Lenina Lopez, ay problem. Lord, alam po namin, Panginoon, na ikaw magbibigay ng kagalingan, Panginoon, dito kay Lenina Lopez, sa kanyang ay, kung ano man po, Panginoon, ang problema sa kanyang mata, Lord. Bigyan mo po, Panginoon, ng kagalingan na magmumula sa iyo, Panginoon. At kung ano man po yung uh, kailangan gawin, Panginoon, sa kanya, yung po, Panginoon, ang mangyari. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ganyan din po kay Patrick Noel, able to walk. Lord, lagi po namin siyang pinag-alala to pray. Lord, uh, alam po namin, Panginoon, na darating ang panahon na makakasama po namin sila buong pamilya at makakalakad siya, Panginoon. Alam po namin, wala imposible sa iyo, Panginoon. Yung mga patay, binubuhay mo, yung mga hindi makalakad, pinalalakad mo, Lord. Abutin mo po, Panginoon, ang kahilingan nila, Brother Noel, John, Panginoon. Salamat po, Panginoon, at uh, naniniwala po kami, Panginoon, na ikaw ay Diyos na Himala, Panginoon, at maghimala ka po sa kanilang buhay, Panginoon, sa kanilang buong pamilya, Lord. At katagbuin mo po ang lahat po ng pinag-pray po namin na ito. Katagbuin mo po ang kanilang mga pangangailangan, Panginoon, sa pinansyal. Ito po ang Jehovah Jireh namin, our great provider, Jehovah Rapa, our great healer, Lord. Alam po namin, Panginoon, na sa araw, Panginoon, sila po'y magpapasalamat sa iyo dahil Pinagaling mo na po sila, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat po at binabalik na po namin lahat ng kapurihan. 
lahat ng pasasalamat in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Josie. For a complete healing from cancer, let's let's ask you, Kuya Mani, to lead us in prayer. Thank you. Um, Heavenly Father, we want to thank you, Lord God, like our own healer. Our healer. Lunas po sa aming mga karamdaman. Lord, we pray, Lord, for... um sa mga sumusunod po you know, who are having uh, their cancer. Lord, I pray, Lord, for Olan, uh, for pancreas cancer, for Chris Oy, sa ovarian cancer, si Mara Chris Mil- Milliera, colon cancer, si uh, Ibn Labyrinto, breast cancer, friend ni Mrs. sa, sa, sa Pilipinas, uh, si Ricardo Madrid, uh, lung cancer, Elsa Rimondo, lymph node, sa problems, cancer sa lymph node. Noa de Guzman, sa bone cancer. At saka si Ile Hiradura, sa complete healing po sa kanilang. We pray, we pray Lord Father God, na ikaw po ang magbibigay lunas po sa kanila. Magbibigay po ng milagro sa buhay po nila. Na, uh, Lord, na sana po eh, maka, maging normal po ulit ang kanilang buhay. Yes, thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. That, uh, ikaw lang po na, na tumutulong po sa mga doctors, sa mga physicians para sila ay gumaling po, Lord Jesus. So, Father God, we covet your presence. We covet your hand. Uh, we lay our hands for these people para magkaroon, magkaroon po ng milagro at mag, 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 makapag-recover po sila sa kanilang nararamdaman, sa kanilang mga cancers. Yes. We just want to claim victory sa buhay po ng mga tao na to, lahat-lahat po ng mga hindi po rin nabanggit, Lord Jesus, na, uh, for healing. Yes, we just want to praise you, Father God. We just want to give you glory. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Salamat, Kuya Mani. For personal supplication, let us uh, hear it from Sister Janet. Kindly lead us. Thank you. Hallelujah. Father, we pray for connecting events, evangelism, discipleship missions. We thank you, Lord. Once uh, September 10, we pray for all grandparents and we pray for Grandparents Day and even for the Bugayong Baby Shower. We lift them up to you, Lord. Continue to just move mightily upon the lives of our grandparents. We pray for the Ministry Fair Courtyard. Court Lord, we pray that you will touch those People whom you are going to choose to take part, Lord God, in the ministry. Lord, your church is growing and Lord, we pray for more laborers to work in your vineyard. We pray, Father, for your spirit to move mightily, Lord, as as this ministry opens, God, we pray that you will you will work in the hearts of your people. We pray for the 39th anniversary celebration of our church. We pray that you will bring people, oh God, souls that would come to know you we pray for the board annual planning we pray for your people especially for our pastors that you will give them wisdom understanding lord for this planning lord for this annual planning we pray even for the pastor's appreciation day we pray for the local license renewal for our lay pastors we pray for them we pray for your leaders we pray for your pastors lord we pray that you will continue to bless our leaders, oh God, we thank you for choosing them, Lord, to, to lead and to guide your people. We pray for the Thanksgiving Fellowship. We pray for the Workers' Appreciation Day. We pray for the Winter Youth Overnight, Lord, Christmas Party. We lift these activities to you. We pray for the Church Christmas Party as well and um, the NYE Fellowship. Father, with all with all these events and circumstances, Lord, be at the center of this all that you will be, O oh God, um, that you will guide all the planning, all the activities, that you will make events, circumstances, even divine connections to work all for the glory of your kingdom, all for the glory of your name. Thank you so much. You prepare those young people who are going to, uh, to join this uh, youth overnight. We pray for all the festivities, God, that you alone be glorified. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen.
Amen. Thank you, Sister Janet. Let's ask uh, Sister Anelu for uh, a special favor and request. Yes, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for tonight. We thank you, Lord, for, for the opportunity to be able to gather, Lord, tonight, Lord, to share your word. And uh, tonight, Lord, uh, we lift up all of uh, the special favor and requests, Lord. Uh, number one is uh, for Sister Rose, Lord, for long hours of her work duty, Lord. I pray, Lord, that uh, you help her, Lord, to find uh, relievers uh, for her long hours, Lord, and help, Lord, so that she may have more time for her family, her children, and herself, and with you, Lord Jesus. And uh, we pray, Lord, for all the students, Lord, for their safety uh, in school. And uh, I, we pray, Lord, that uh, you surround all of our students, Lord, with uh, God-fearing friends, with good crowds, Lord, and uh, keep them safe always. We pray for Justin, Lord. We pray that he may always um, arrive in school and at home safe, Lord, without any accidents, Lord. Be with him always as he drives to school and drives home, Lord Jesus. We pray for Lahaina, Maui, Hawaii, Lord. We pray for recovery for this community, Lord. We pray that you may provide for everyone's needs, Lord, who was affected by this um this uh fire lord and may you get, bring them comfort lord and uh, we pray for pq lord we pray for scholarships we pray mm -hmm. that you may provide for her uh tuition fees help yes. lord, yes. and uh, provide resources for her lord jesus and uh, we pray for weddings, Lord, in our church community, for Brother Dennis, Sister Mao, Brother Shane, and Sister Almira, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you continue, Lord, to, to guide them, Lord, for this day. Uh, and uh, just uh, uh, provide, Lord, for whatever needs they may need, Lord, for their wedding day. We pray for Sister Mavi, Lord, for her pregnancy. We pray for a healthy and safe pregnancy for her. And uh, we pray, Lord, that you keep her safe and her baby girl safe, Lord. And we pray for Joshua, Lord, for um, his documents, his home, and a bike, Lord. Uh, we pray, Lord, that you provide for all of this for him. And we pray, Lord, that you touch people. Um, Para po, Lord, ma, ma, ma sustain niya yung uh, complete niya yung documents niya and uh, maayos na po yung place niya, his home and a bike, Lord. We pray for Lauren, Ivan Del Rosario, and Job, Lord, to be more socially adjusted, Lord. Uh, we pray, Lord, that you just give them courage, boldness, and uh, peace, Lord, in their hearts, that they're always welcome, and that uh, they're, they're loved, Lord, and uh, that they may just comfortably open up to, to, to people, Lord. And uh, we pray for John Marco, Maynard, Job, Dennis, Joshua, to be able to find uh, a stable job and a work, a, a job, Lord, and uh, that will also be open to serving you on Sundays and Fridays and any other day, Lord, that that's, they need to, to be available for, for you, Lord. We pray for Brother Manny, Lord, that uh, his Sundays will open up, Lord, uh, so that he can join his family to serving you at church and to worship you at church, Lord. We praise you and we thank you, Lord, and we claim victory for all of this. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. Let's go now to our popcorn prayer. Uh, these are for the other supplications that was not mentioned. Uh, you can start praying 
uh, anytime you want, anyone can play. Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you, God, for this uh, beautiful evening when we are gathered together, Lord, in your presence and in your power. We thank you, God, that you're always willing, able, and always willing, O oh God, to grant what we request, what we need. You will provide, and it is your, your, your delight, O oh God, to grant what is good for us. I lift up to you, Lord God, Violi, who has a severe headache at this time. I pray that you'll touch her body. And let the, your healing power flow through uh, her body, O oh God, from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Quicken that body, O oh God, and heal that sickness at the very root of it in the name of Jesus Christ, in, including my uh, fibromyalgia, um, other sicknesses, O oh God, the health challenges that she, she has been suffering uh, through the years, in the name of Jesus Christ, and those, O oh God, of her children and sisters, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, O oh God, for the death of Jesus Christ that brought about healing, both for body and soul. For them, we claim this power, and we believe, O oh God, that they are healed, because we have asked it in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Dear Lord, I also pray for my children, Ben and May, who are in Davao City at this time. God be with them. Thank you for providing their needs. They're going through sacrifices, oh God, but um, there's their faith, oh God, their trust is in you. And we ask, oh Lord, that you be with them and direct them by the Holy Spirit of the Lord. Help them, oh God, to have wisdom in the things in making decision for things that they need to do in the name of jesus christ we ask and thank you for it amen amen thank you thank you lord we pray for james na pupunta panginoon sa chicago alangin namin ang traveling uh, mercy nyo uh, safe po siya makabalik at makapunta doon at uh, ingatan niyo po siya panginoon in jesus name amen Praise God, yeah. Blossing na po tayo. Tunay nga po, Panginoon. Truly indeed, Lord, let our the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts, O oh God, be pleasing and acceptable to you. So tonight, as we retire, Lord, let your blessings be upon your people, Father God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Bert. Some announcements. Uh, regular programming tayo sa ating uh, uh, this coming Sunday. No? Balik tayo sa kung anong ginagawa natin, the usual. Wala nang ulan. Balik na tayo dun sa, sa patio, mm -hmm. sa courtyard muna, sa patio. Tuloy ang ligaya. <laughs> Abangan nyo yung uh, ating uh, Project 2 at uh, panalangin nyo. Kung ano man yun, ay baka i-announce namin sa Sunday. So excited na kami dito dahil uh, this uh, will bring us to, uh, kumbaga, this was led, uh, this is being led by the Holy Spirit and uh, we prayed for this and uh, we believe that uh, this will bring us to more greater heights for God. No? Uh, mm. So it will cut the cost into half. It will uh, uh, zero out uh, somehow, hopefully, the conflicts. It will uh, give us more time and effort for our families. No, So let's pray for it. Let's continue to pray for it. So 
Okay, picture picture tayo. Wala na ba? Wala na bang bubukas? Ayan. Ayan, ayan, ayan. ayan, ayan, ayan. Okay. At the count of three. One, two, three. There you go. Good night, guys. God bless you. See you Friday. See you Friday. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.